pray in the city of our God, in the mountain of His Holiness. Good evening, Christian friends. We are so happy to greet you again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. From the main auditorium of Greater Harvest, Missionary Baptist Church, located 5141 South State Street, also known as Reverend Louis Body Street, in Chicago, Illinois. Our telephone number is 773-924-7766. We can also be reached online at www.ghnbcchicago.org. Reverend Lewis Body is our founder. Elder Eric Thomas is our pastor. It is our prayer that we will, you will be spiritually uplifted and encouraged as a result of this service. On tonight, we celebrate our chief elder, Elder Ephraim Felton. to Greater Harvest. Receive now the sanctuary choir of Greater Harvest. Yeah, 
favor. Somebody might say, well, we don't have no reason to magnify the Lord or to lift up his name. But look over here today, huh? Look right here today. Look right here. Don't think about yourself. Look right here what God has done. My God, we got a reason, every last one of us. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for another Sunday night service. We ask, Lord, that you stop by and bless some needed soul. Father God, we just want to say thank you for your miracle. Thank you for bringing our elder Felton and his wife back down to us just one more time. Lord, we just want to say we're grateful. We want to say much obliged. Lord, we just thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for our pastor. Father God, we ask that you bless him. Bless his going out. Bless his coming in. Bless him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Cover his mind, Lord. Cover his body in the name of Jesus. We ask that you bless somebody today. And Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.
to tell I can depend I can depend Oh, I can depend on God I remember the day hey, At the very hour Fear my soul with this holy power Hey, I was alone Couldn't find my way Jesus, he walks with me
give the God of our salvation a great big old praise. Amen. I said, can we give the God of our salvation a great big praise? For he's been good to us. Amen. The Lord has been good to us. Amen. And I'm so glad that tonight, amen. Well, let's do two things. Let's give God praise, everybody. Oh, he is. Oh, I said, let's give God praise. I, that wasn't for me. Let's give God, the God of our salvation, praise. Glory be to God. Amen. God deserves all of it and some. He's been better to us than we could ever be to ourselves. And I thank him for his goodness. I thank him for his mercy. I thank him for his grace. I thank him for his kindness. I thank him for his long suffering. I thank him for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Perhaps you don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. I said, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Ask your neighbor, have you received since you believe? My, 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 my. And I'm not, I'm not just talking about the Holy Ghost that makes you shout, but I'm talking about the one that Jesus promised. He says, it's expedient that I go, because if I don't go, the comforter won't come. But thank God for the comforter who has come, amen, and he is a keeper, amen, and then I thank God for my brother tonight, amen, the honoree of the night, Elder Ephraim Felton, come on saints, give him praise for Dr. Felton tonight, he is the honoree of the night. And we come on, let's praise God for the woman of God that walks by his side. She don't like this. But come on, let's give God praise for his wife. Amen. And his family. Amen. I know all of them are not here. And let me say this. Let me say this. Amen. So there won't be any confusion. Amen. I, the Lord spoke to my heart and told me to honor him and be a blessing to him. And the first thing I started doing, I started getting a list of people and Dr. Heath, amen, my brother, Pastor Heath, amen. I started planning it out. I said, <laughs> well, you know, we don't let the honoree praise God by itself. Amen. He said, I, I, I. He said, I, 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 I. So everybody just say, I, I, I. Glory. Hey. Hey. If you ain't going to have a good time, you don't need to be here. He needs to be encouraged. And if he says, aya, 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 somebody, is, oh, ho, oh, aya, glory. Hey! Hey! Glory to God. He ain't dead. This ain't no funeral. There ain't no casket man here. He's sitting in a chair with life in his lungs. And as long as there is life, there is hope. And I don't know about you, but I believe you're going to get up out of that chair. I believe what he's been pushing, I believe it's going to be behind him soon. I don't care what it looks like. God is still a healer. God is still a healer. And he can heal all manner of disease. It ain't that too hard for him. I wasn't going here this soon, but since I'm here, I might as well do it. Give the Lord praise, everybody. Hey! Glory! My, 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 my. Hey! Glory! Hey! Hey, man, I wasn't going to do this, but since I'm here, hey, hey, throw me overboard! Oh! 
Almighty God's been real good to me. I don't want to keep bothering you, but we came here to, just so you won't be mistaken, we came to praise God for life. This ain't no funeral, this is a celebration. We celebrate Elder Felton, but we give God the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord praise. Everybody, give him praise. Amen. Well, <laughs> we don't need nobody standing by themselves. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, let's give the let's give the Lord praise, everybody. One more time. Amen. Come on, one more time. Let's give the Lord praise. Let's give him honor. Somebody say, Glory. Come on, let's give the Lord praise to Sister Stephanie. Hey, come on, give God praise for her. Amen. Tonight. Somebody say glory to God. Say glory to God again. One more time. Give the Lord praise, everybody. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Look, tell, tell, tell your neighbor we came for a celebration tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Go ahead, y'all. Give a little bit. Go ahead. Glory. Stephanie was left for dead in a car accident, but the Lord brought her back, and so she likes doing what she did before the accident. Somebody say amen, and I'm going to say to you, if you praise God, God will let you do some of the things that you used to do. Somebody didn't catch that. If you start praising God, some stuff you lost will come back to you. Amen. Come on one more time for Sister Stephanie. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you again. We want to praise God for his goodness and his mercy. And we thank God again for our, amen, our honoree tonight. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our honoree and we thank God for what the Lord is doing in his life. I'm so glad that he's here to hear what we're saying. You know, I was, I was at a service before I came here and the MC said, he said, you know, he says, if you, can't, if you can't let me hear you say how much you appreciate me while I'm living, don't make a big scene over my casket. If, if you can't express how you feel to me while I can hear it, amen. Not only don't I, want, don't, don't I not want to hear what you have to say, I can't hear what you got to say when I'm gone. And so I thank God tonight that Elder Felton can hear our love and our words and songs. I thank God tonight, amen, that we can, amen, he can see who's here to support him. And I thank God tonight because you all came out in big numbers tonight to support the man of God. Elder Felton has been serving in ministry for a long time. And not only in ministry, but he served this church, amen. And he has been faithful. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And guess what, y'all? He deserves this tonight. He has earned this. 
Amen. The Bible says, if you're faithful over a few things, I'll make your rules over many. And he has been faithful. Amen. Amen. This ain't no prelude to death either. Amen. The devil is alive. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, some people say, child, this, it, no, it, this don't feel like no funeral or nothing. This feel like a praise service for the living. Amen. So we don't even speak that out of our mouth. We say that he's going to live and live on. Amen. And I think you're sharp too, Elder. Watch yourself. You might have sharp. Amen. I thought I was doing something. Amen. You didn't, amen. Amen. Elder Felt is always sharp. Amen. So we're going to move on. Amen. We got amen. And Elder Felton loves preaching. And I said, you know what? I, I want to have music. But Elder Felton is a preacher who loves preaching. And so tonight, his and my little brother, amen, Bishop Designate, amen, Andrew Gibson is preaching the word tonight. Come on, let's give the Lord praise. Amen. Amen. And I... I think some of his church members are here too. Amen. <laughs> what y'all think? Amen. Hey, but amen. But these, this, this is my, this is my other church too. Amen. I love Vernon. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. But he's going to preach the word tonight, and we're going to have a great time with the Lord. I want to thank you all. Amen. I want to say this tonight. This service, amen, is kind of out of the conversations of me and Deacon Ron Hall, and amen. Elder uh, Chris Jones, and we, we were just talking about him, and they both kind of confirmed what I was thinking about doing something for him and not doing it later on, doing it. The Spirit said now, and not, not, not because he's about to pass away, but the Spirit sometimes, amen, God wants to bless somebody, and we have to make sure that we're hearing. And so, amen, I want to say this to everybody, amen, that the reason it was done so fast is because the Lord told me to do it now and not wait till after the new year to do it. And so I expedited the time and I thank God for our staff, everybody that grabbed the vision, amen, and said, Pastor, let's do it and let's make his Christmas like it's never been before, amen. That's why we're doing it. I want him to enjoy, amen. So just don't, don't be mistaken. We're here to praise God and we're here, but we're also here to raise some money. And I, there's no shame in my game about it. Amen. One of the main reasons for the service is to bless him in a tangible way so he can enjoy and do whatever he want to do. Amen. Amen. That's what we're going to do. Amen. Look, we are so happy. There's some, I'm going to call them in a second. Uh, I'm going to slip this in. This is a little pastoral privilege. Amen. And, and I actually had this on my schedule to do it before. Uh, this service was planned, so he is here tonight, and so I'm going to, I want him, there's a gentleman named Brandon Johnson, amen, he's one of our county commissioners, amen, and I thank God for Elder Chris Hodges, amen, that's in the back of the church, uh, a good friend of mine, and he called me, and he is uh, one person that's uh, helping this brother, this young brother, amen, to go to another place in his ministry, amen, but if you're a politician or whatever, Amen. It's a ministry because you're serving people. And whenever you're serving people, it's a ministry. Amen. So I want to say he's he's a county commissioner, but he is running for the mayor of Chicago. And what a great task that is. Amen. And I want him to come now. He's going to come and just speak to us. I want you to see his face. Amen. And then we're going to get right back to the service. But I want to say, would you come, sir? Come on, let's say amen for amen, commissioner. Amen. Brandon Johnson. Let's say amen. Come on, let him feel really, really welcome. Well, <laughs> good evening, Greater Harvest, and um, uh, Elder Pastor Thomas. I, look, I was born sanctified. I think it's inappropriate to put the brother up behind the microphone after all of that. Um, <laughs> and, I, you know, I am, I am grateful for the, for the opportunity and to be a part of this celebration, um, Elder Felton. And I actually want to know uh, where Brother Coleman shops because I want to go where he goes. Uh, it's, it's a little west side there, I can tell. So I, I, I'm going to get out of the way quick, quickly. My name is Brandon Johnson, and I am a Cook County Commissioner. I am running for mayor of, of the city of Chicago, and I give honor to God, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. And if you don't hold it against me, I was raised in the Church of God in Christ. There's a lot of familiarity here. The only difference is, is A flat. That's the key I was raised in. So 
Let me hear it. I know that key. So if, you, if I get a little extra here, just put me there. I'll stay focused and, and, and tune up there. But I'm really very much humbled to be in this position. The best job, though, that I've ever had is that of a public school teacher. Started teaching 15 years ago, middle school students. That's a shout right there. You should just break out in tongues. I taught middle school, saints and friends, and, uh, in Cabrini Green, USA, and it was the best, but well, now, now y'all get it. <laughs> and I had the opportunity to teach um, high school on the west side of Chicago at Westinghouse, where my wife and I, uh, 25 years of marriage next year, we're raising our three kids on the west side of Chicago. And I'm grateful, you know, honestly. But as my students would wake up every single morning, if you know a little bit about Cabrini Green, they could see the wealth from their back windows, all of the wealth that this city has to offer. But staring at them out of their front windows were bulldozers preparing to destroy their public housing. And our people in this city for too long have been chasing down an economy that's behind us while everything in front of us is crumbling. And I'm running for mayor of Chicago because I believe it can be better. And that we don't have to have this tell of two cities where those who have get more and those who don't have, they take it away. You know, I talk about my wife very often and if you all will just keep this a secret, once I'm mayor of Chicago, we're gonna have the biggest 25th wedding anniversary surprise in the history of the world. But raising our children on the west side of Chicago, we know what it's like to live in a city that's hard. We have changed windows, Pastor Thomas, from bullets that have come through our home. My oldest, who is a 15-year-old, um, he's a student at Kenwood. Three weeks into the school year, one of his classmates went out for lunch and they were murdered. And I believe that if we're gonna have safe, thriving cities, we have to have a mayor who is committed to investing in people. And that's what my commitment is, and that's what I've done as a teacher, as an organizer, and now as a Cook County Commissioner, responsible for billions of dollars. And I actually believe that people in the city of Chicago deserve fully funded schools, parks and recreation. We deserve access to transportation. We deserve the ability to have access to health care and particularly mental health care. We deserve to have all of those things. And that's why I'm running because I believe we're actually close to bringing a city together, no matter where you are, where every single neighborhood can have the fruit of the labor that exists in this city. And I'll close with this. You gotta take my word for it. I know when a politician and a preacher's kid say they're gonna close, they might be a little suspicious. But one thing that I'm reminded of every single day, there are men and women whose shoulders we stand on. And I'm grateful that God has given an anointing in this moment to have vision like Joshua and Caleb, where we can see on the other side what is promised to us. I believe we can cross the other side in this city and the promises that our people deserve, we do not have to leave it to chance. I'm running for mayor of Chicago because I'm running to make sure there's a guarantee. And if we actually can build this movement that is surrounding me in this moment, where we get to the other side, where we can have guaranteed access to fully funded schools, guaranteed access to health care and mental health care as we fight collectively together, guaranteed access to make sure that our parks and our libraries are available to people, I believe that promise can be Field if we work together, and I'm counting on you all to remember Brandon Johnson. If you don't remember anything else, as you move into this moment, February 28th, if we don't get it done in February, we'll get it done in April. I want you to go to Brandon, brandonforchicago.com because you're going to have a brother who's on the fifth floor who loves people. And that's what this city needs, a revival to love people, to make sure that we're supporting the things that we know will help keep our community safe. And then finally, my brother and then my sisters. When I'm mayor of Chicago, I'm gonna make Sunday night services a requirement for City Hall to come to Greater Harvest. God bless you all, love you. Amen, he knew how to, he's a closer. You know, he's from the church, he knows how to close. Amen, that was one of the best closes I've ever heard, amen. Amen. Come on one more time for Commissioner Brandon Johnson. Thank you, amen.
Elder Hodges for bringing him and inviting us and meeting, allowing us to meet him tonight. It's very important, amen, that we take time to vote in February, amen. If you don't vote, don't shout, amen. Amen. Hold your shout if you ain't going to vote. Amen. Because faith without or is what? So we've got to put our faith into action. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let, let me take a moment to just um, um, to acknowledge some of our guests. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. And I want to, amen. We know that Pastor Anthony Coleman is here. He sang already. And his wife. Come on, let's give the Lord praise for them. Amen. Of course, Pastor Marciano Ostell is here. Amen. Amen. Pastor Dewan Manley is here. Let's give her our praise. Amen. Pastor Donald Davenport, amen, of our honorees home church, amen, that he was raised in. Amen. Amen. He's here. We thank God for him. Thank God for Elder Chris Hodges, as I said. Amen. Pastor Reginald Heath, my little brother, is here. Thank God. We're still praying for him. You all know his mother went home to be with the Lord not too many months ago. But thank God he's still going for it, which is what she would want him to do. Somebody say amen. Amen. Pastor Terrence Washington is here. I saw him. Amen. Minister Tim White is here. Amen. It's my, this is my brother for real. Amen. And let me tell you also, I might as well say now, I told him last year, I'm going to do something and bring the city together, and we're going to honor him. Amen. It, it, I'm going to bring the whole city together because Tim will go to your service with 10 people and sing like it's a million people in there. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Tim sings at funerals. He sings at, amen, you got a barbecue in the backyard. He'll sing. He'll sing at your Christmas tree lighting. Amen. And I said all of that because we need people like that. That when God takes you higher, you won't forget the people. And Tim sings all over the world, but he takes time for what some of us call the little people. But he'll come to your program and sing and won't stand around looking for a check either. He'll leave money. I'm, I'm, I wish I had time to talk about that, but so I thank God for it. But we are going to, you all listen out. I told him we, I wasn't able to do it last year, but I want to pull the city together. And this, amen, I'm going to do it myself personally and make sure that we honor him because he has been honoring all of us for many of me. Come on one more time for him. Amen. Pastor Kendrick, amen. District Missionary Kendrick, amen. Somebody say amen from St. James, Church of God in Christ. What a great man of God, woman of God. Thank you all. It's good. To, you know, there's just something about the sanctified folk. Amen. They're marked. <laughs> they can't help themselves. It's, 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 it's just something about sanctified people and, and saved people. And I love it. Hey, somebody say amen again. Amen. And so we thank God for everybody that's here tonight. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Amen. Amen. All right. Come on. Look what we're going to do now. Amen. I want. Amen. I want. Amen. Let's do this. Because I want to save, amen, Elder Tim. I want, I want us to give right now. Let's do Can we do that right now? So that when the preacher gets up, we'll, Tim will lead our preacher into, amen, into, and we're not going to be here all night because I don't want to keep Elder Felton out all night. That's wisdom, amen. God is wise, amen, amen. So I don't want him to have to recover from his own service. <laughs> So we're going to be wise and get him home so he can rest his body and enjoy what we do for him tonight. Amen. So look, everybody in this place tonight, I want you, I know you all have come to give, and it's, I told you it's no secret that we're here to give. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. 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 So I want to raise him ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh-oh, come on, I Somebody say amen again. I look, I just believe in that, amen. Amen. And so what I'm gonna do tonight, amen. I, everybody that will, everybody that will, I want everyone that will to sow a one hundred dollar seed into Elder Felter tonight. Amen. I want you, amen. You I know you're gonna buy some some uh, red bottoms for Christmas. Amen. Get some blue bottoms for the time being and bring it down a little bit. 
But tonight, on a serious note, Elder Felton, amen, has been hanging there. He has a family, and we all know he has not been able to work. That's just the reality of it. Amen. Because of his medical condition, amen, and his wife has been holding it down, and he's doing But, hey, come on one more time, amen. She's been holding it down. But tonight, and let me say what I was going to say earlier to his family, those of you who might be watching, this was the last-minute thing, so I know all of his family was not able to come in. Amen. So I want to apologize, because, I, but for his family that's here, I want to thank you all for responding. It was the last minute, and I take full responsibility for that. It's on, all of it is on me, but I did not want to wait. I wanted to do it right now. As the Lord told me to do it, he says, don't wait, be a blessing right now. And that's, I want his family to stand. Those of you who are part of Elder Felton's family, won't you stand? Let us see you. Amen. Amen. Y'all in the house. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord praise for his family. Amen. He has a lot more, his sons and amen. All of his children weren't able to be here. But uh, we'll just have, we'll, we'll have to do something a little later on so everybody can be here. But for those of you who are here, thank you for responding. Amen. Those of you who are watching online, I want you to do amen. If you ever enjoy a song, a sermon that he has, amen, preached, I want you, amen, and I want you to get, amen, to give tonight. Amen. Like you would want somebody to give. Amen. Somebody say amen. Say amen again. Amen. 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 Say amen. So I want you to give as the Lord has blessed you. Amen. And kept you. Amen. 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 That was weird. Amen. Amen. But we thank God. Amen. For uh, Elder Felsen. I'm going to give tonight. Amen. I'm going to. Amen. And everybody will give a seed of $100 tonight. There are enough of us in here to, to be a blessing to him. Amen. I, I want to give him enough. Amen. That he can do whatever he want to do for the next year. Amen. Amen. And I do it. Let me tell you something. When I give, I think about my daughters. Their future. When I give. Every time I give a seed, my mind is on them. My mind is on Brooke and any other Brooks that might be headed our way in the future. I give because I believe someone will give to my children if I be a blessing now. And someone someone will send for me. Amen. Like David sent for Mephibosheth. I need Bible readers in here. The Bible says, glory to God. Amen. The Bible says, amen. David said, is there anyone left of the household of Saul that I can be a blessing to? And they said, there is one. Amen. Amen. In a little town called Lodibar. Hey, that's what the book says. And the book says, amen, he, he was crippled in his ankles. But, amen, his condition did not, amen, change his position. Amen. I would preach that, amen. Don't let your condition change your position. Amen. Glory to God. But, amen, but he came to the table. He didn't feel like he should have been there. But when favor is on you, it can be years later, and God will remember your labor of love. And so, amen, I, I give so my children will be blessed by people that they don't even know years from now. I sow like that so they'll reap the benefits of what I'm doing right now. Amen. Somebody say amen. And so I want you to give tonight in that manner. Give everybody, if everybody that could would give a seed of $100. And I do really mean that. If you can do that tonight. we And somebody may say, Pastor, amen. I want to do more than that. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Matter of fact, I'm not going to let y'all. I'm going to give $200. Amen. Amen. Not from the church, from me. I'm going to give, add another 100 to that. And amen. Everybody in this room, I want you to sow at least $100 tonight and be a blessing and then also those of you who cannot do it it is never equal giving but it's always equal sacrifice so sacrifice tonight and let's make this man and his wife happy tonight amen in a great way y'all know you knew you knew that's what I was going to ask for amen everybody online amen let's do that tonight father in Jesus mighty name I thank you for this night thank you for the this, this time that we have to honor my brother Oh, God, I ask you to continue to keep him and heal his body. Now, God, tonight I would ask that you would touch the minds and the hearts of every person in this room, those who are watching us online, that we will be a great blessing 
to this man of God. Father, I thank you, God, for what you're going to do, the future that he has. We speak nothing but life, health, wellness, wealth into his life. In the name of Jesus, I pray it is so. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Let me do this. Those of you who are going to sow a seed of at least $100, would you do me a favor and just come and meet me in the aisle? Amen. Everybody that can sow at least a seed of $100. Amen. Even if you're doing it digitally, I want you to come. Amen. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen again. Somebody say amen again. Amen. Oh, yeah, Cash App, yes. Cash App. Thank you. If you're using Cash App, it's dollar sign E F R E M F E L T O N, Ephraim Felton. Zell is 773 301 2582. It's also on the screen behind you, but again, that Zell information is 773 301 2582. Cash app, dollar sign, Ephraim Felton. Let's say amen, everybody. Say my say. Amen. Amen. Everybody else, amen. So look, I want everyone, everyone that's going to sow a seed, amen, who you are. I'm going to ask them to come, amen. Let's say amen for those who are coming now. Come on, praise God for those that are sowing. That's it, amen. What a blessing. Come on, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that, look at that, look at that love, amen. And y'all got some love too, amen. It's all love, amen. It's all love tonight. Oh, look at Blake. <laughs> Blake is sharp too. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now look, I want everyone to follow the direction of the ushers, and I want you to give your very, very, very best seed tonight. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor Forrest, amen. God bless you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thanks to the Lord. Don't forget, we're still praying for Mother Martha Key. Amen. As she prepares to celebrate her daughter's home going. And then we're also praying for, amen, Sister Ariane and the passing of her sister as well. So let's keep both of them in our prayers. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, everybody. That's it. Let's be a blessing. Thank you, Elder Stamps. Bless you, man. bless you. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate it. Come on, let's give more praise, everybody. And then somebody gave me $25 to put in the offer for him. So I must put in there so I won't forget. Let's say amen for First Lady, amen, cows, amen. Yes. God 
God bless you. God bless you. God bless everybody. Amen. Bless you, man. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Amen. God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bishop Pleasant's church, they just sang on the west side, Jesus. That's all I can say. Lord have mercy. Amen. They was coming after the, out, out of the rafters and under the pews and whatnot, and out of folks' pockets. And they sang over there at that church, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Somebody say amen. God bless you, amen. Again, we're in good time. It's 10 after 8, amen. And uh, I, I, I would be remiss if I did not uh, ask, amen, uh, Pastor Davenport to come. Elder Felton come out of a great church, amen, who had a great pastor, amen, Dr. Leroy, amen, Davenport, amen. He was a sanctified man, amen, and he was all right, amen, and he could preach, amen. Come on, somebody say amen, and he, he, he. And it's still a great church, amen, amen. So I want Pastor uh, Davenport to come and just have some words for, from his home church, amen, the church that gave him his beginning. Come on, let's say amen as Pastor Davenport will come and give us remarks. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, praise the Lord, saints. Good being in the Lord house one more time. Before I go forward, I want my brothers that came, my brothers that's here, stand up. You got two brothers over here, another brother over there, amen. A couple of the church members here came also, amen. Could y'all stand up, but they came, amen. Elder, I call him Buzzy, amen. The first time in our church, I never seen nobody run before in church. Buzzy had been about seven to eight years old, started running around the church. And Buzzy was a good young man. Buzzy was a church young man. Buzzy didn't really get in no trouble at all. He really loved the Lord as a little boy. My father, Elder Leroy Davenport, blessed him, blessed his spirit. He loved Elder Felton. And one thing about Elder Felton, he loved the church. He did everything he had to do for the church. But one thing about Elder Felton, sometimes when he had a little trouble on his hand, he looked towards the Devonport brothers. Some of y'all might not know, it's 14 of us. I had 10 brothers, 10 of us, 10 boys, and four girls. And we all love Buzzy. So we're praying that Buzzy, that God will give you your strength. And I really believe that God would heal your body. Oh, Lord, increase our faith in the name of Jesus. Oh, he'll do it if you believe it. I tell you to stop doing it right now. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord praise. Amen. The Bible says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Amen. And we're praying. Amen. Praying also for Miss Moody. Amen, everybody. We're praying for everybody, amen, that's had loss in their family all over the place, amen. So many people, and we thank God, amen. Thank the Lord. Now, look, I want this great man of God to come, amen, and bless us. We're so glad to see, amen. Uh, I was about to call the prophets, but all of that, amen. Elder Alicia Davis is here. She had surgery. The Lord brought her back, bringing her back. She's healing. Thank God for her, amen. But look, at this time, Again, this is my brother and uh, one of Elder Felton's favorite singers. So this is why we wanted to make sure he was here tonight because he's one of, and Tim is one of all of our favorite singers. I'm telling you, amen, can't nobody do it like him. Ain't nothing but one Tim White 
but he's Elder Tim White. He's my friend at Greater Harvest. He's a friend of ours. Can we put our hands together and greet Elder Tim White as he will come and bless us in song. Amen. Come on, let's give God a better praise. Come on. Come on, you can do better than that. God has kept us, come on, all this year. You only Come on, we are, we're on the second Sunday, the last month of the year. That's all you got? Come on. Come on, I don't see nobody. I don't see nobody. Millions of people didn't make it. I said millions of people didn't make it, but you were a few of the ones that did. Come on, give him better praise than that. Yeah. First, give an honor to God who's in charge of my life, and two, of course, Pastor Thomas, who's just one in a million. I love this guy, and two, our guest preacher for tonight, amen, Pastor Gibson, my friend, and my brother, amen, to all the preachers and pastors, amen, around in, in the, um, the sanctuary, and two, of course, Elder Felton, I am humble, I'm honored, amen, that you would think of a little old guy like me, to say you wanted me to be a part of your celebration. It means the world to me, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thank you, Sister Michelle, for reaching out and asking me to come, and I was honored. So there's a song he wants um, me to do if the choir would help me. Um, how many know, I just want you to do something real quick. Grab a neighbor by the hand and tell him, say, neighbor, God's got you. Y'all and y'all and tell nobody. Come on. Tell somebody else around you. God's got you. Come on. I know, I know it's been a rough year, but God's got you. Come on. I know it's been hard. You've cried sometime, but God's got you. Mm, no matter what I face. No matter what may come, I'm confident in this. God's got me. Yeah, yeah. No matter what I face, <laughs> no matter what may come, I'm confident in this. God's got me. Mama Sherm, you know it. He's got me. He's got me. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Confident. God's got me. Do it again. Touch somebody and say, He's got me. Yeah. Yeah. He's got me. I'm confident in this. God's got me. Can y'all help me sing it? Help me. Help me say, no matter. Come on, wave your hand and say, I'm confident. Come on, say it for your family. He got your son in his hand. He got your daughter in his hand. Yeah. He's got me. He got my house in his hand. He's got my family in his hand. Yeah. Oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's Without you, yes, God, I'm standing here today. Come on, tell somebody it's because of His grace. I didn't get here by myself. Can I get a witness in here? I'm confident. Yeah, He got me. I'm standing right here. I should have lost my mind. I should have gave up. God help me together. Yeah. He got me. I wish I had somebody in here. He's got the Lord got me in his hand. I'm so glad he understands. 
I almost let go I felt like I just couldn't take life anymore Hold that hand like you're gonna hold it My problems have me bound <laughs> Depression weighed me down God help me close Now shake up so I would let go Oh, <laughs> 
Look at three people and say it's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. Before you sit down, grab that neighbor and encourage them. One more time, grab that neighbor and encourage them. And tell them, for every mountain, he brought us over. Go on and hug that neighbor right here. For every trial, he saw us through. and say God got you and your family covered for every mountain you brought me over you brought me over some mountain every time he saw me through I just saw this in the spirit. Lift your hands up. And I want you to say your address. And say God got everybody and everything in my house covered. One, two, three. For every mountain. And I want you to praise him for the covering. You brought me over. Thank you, Jesus. For every trial. You see me through hey, hey, every blessing. I am for this, I give you praise. Oh, I'm moving. But I got a revelation one time, Pastor Thomas, from babysitting. I thought I had did everything right, mother, with the baby. But about 12 o'clock midnight, the baby started screaming. And I didn't know what was going on, mother. When I went in the room, the baby needed to be changed. But watch this. I wouldn't have never knew that the baby needed to be changed if it didn't scream. And if it didn't holler, can I tell you the reason why your situation hasn't changed yet? Because you ain't opened your mouth yet. But I need 30 people that need God to change something. For every mountain, hey, you put me over. Come on, scream till it changes. For every trial, it's turning. Your favor, just open your mouth and say, hey, 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 Come on, let's give the Lord praise for Elder White. Come on, everybody, give the Lord praise for his ministry. Thank God for that anointing. Without any further ado, amen, I want to bring the man of God, amen. The fire is hot, the table is set. And I'm going to bring the man of God, amen. He's the pastor of the Vernon Baptist Church. He pastors two churches. And I thank God that he's with us, I believe, three now, amen. So I thank God for him. This is my true little brother. Amen. And he's a man of God. Amen. I don't want to go into a long introduction because I want him to come right now. But just know that he can do it. The Lord has anointed him for such a time as this. Thank God for he and his lovely wife. Amen. But I want him to come right now. 
and begin to minister to us whatever the Lord will have them to do and say to us tonight, amen. Lord, have your way. Put, put, uh, reach your hands to the man of God. Say, Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise to Bishop Andrew Gibson. Come on, let's give the Lord praise. Listen, standing all over the room, standing all over the room, glory to God. The power of God is in this room. The power of God is here. And one thing I realize is that when the power of God is in a place, you just move with the power of God. Now, I was sitting there and Minister White was ministering to us. I heard something in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I heard something in the spirit while he was ministering. There's a group of us in the room that's waiting for 2023 to hit in order for you to get your miracles and your blessings. But for the rest of us, we believe that God still got time. We believe that God, there's some miracles with our name on it in this year. And I don't know if I'm talking to you, but I dare you to just open up your mouth. I dare you to just open up your mouth and believe God for the miracles that will take place before the year is out. That you don't have to write a resolution for next year that God is getting ready to do some things that he promised you. That God is getting ready to turn some things around that he said he was going to do. Now do me a favor, just all of the room, just open up your mouth. And make a thunderous sound all over the room. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, we're there. We're there, come on. In the balcony, open up your mouth. I'm telling you, as I looked in the balcony, I saw miracles happening in the balcony. Because those that look like you're in the back of the line, God's getting ready to move you all to the front. Hey, glory. Those that's waiting for God to move. I tell you to open up your mouth. I got to do this. I feel God. I said open up your mouth. Especially those in the balcony. I tell you to give God some praise in the balcony. And watch God work some things out. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I feel revival in this house. I know I got to preach, but I feel revival in this house. I feel like God's, while we're praising God here, God is at your house working some things out. I don't know who I'm talking to, but for about 20 hours on this side of the room, I tell you to praise God that when you get back to your house, things are going to be, oh, I got to. I said by the time you get home, Things are going to be a whole lot better. I need you to tap somebody and tell things are going to look better. I feel God. I said things are going to get a whole lot better. Hallelujah. I said things are going to get a whole lot better. Now tell three people to tell them better, better, better. Come on, tap three people. And tell them better. you can get them hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah 
I don't know what it is, but I feel God like you need God to work some things out for you. Glory to God. And you need him. To, you, now, you're one of those people. Now, I'm going to talk to you because I feel God. I'm going to talk to you. And see, everybody may not praise because they don't need God before the first. But I tell you, right where you are, I tell you to praise God like what you've been praying about has already hit your house. Like it's already hit your family. Oh, y'all going to let him praise by himself? I said praise him. Like it's oh oh, I hey oh I feel revival. I said I feel revival. Come on, out of your belly. Oh, I got hey ta ta ta. Oh, oh no no no. I tell somebody give God praise for Him while He's praising. I tell you to praise God for Him. If you're on his road, you ought to praise God on his road. Because God. Yes, sir. Sir. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, go. That's how you get it. That's how you get it. That's how you get it. I'm five of y'all to dance with him over here. Go ahead. Dance for us a miracle. Come on. that you want to see be a millionaire and go to dancing with him like God has already given it to him. Grab somebody that you want to see blessed and go to dancing with your neighbor. Everybody, let's go. Grab somebody you want to see blessed. I want to see you blessed. Yes, sir. Grab somebody and dance with him. Let's go. Y'all ain't dancing with nobody. If you're not selfish, dance with somebody that you want to see blessed. Come on. Oh, it's happening for them. It's happening in the corner. Woo. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let me say, just another day, yeah. That the Lord yeah, has kept me. I wish I had some help. Just another day for the Lord. What's up? Oh, he asked help me. Come on, yes, sir. With my just another. Yes, sir. Praise him all over the room. Oh, I'm trying to see too much. 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 Hallelujah. Praising God for your husband. I saw your praise going in his body. I saw your praise. I said, I saw your praise. I tell you, dance one more time. Just dance. Just dance one more. Now you got a wife. 
You got a husband? Damn, swore right there. That's it, come on. Come on, dance. Sir. Pop those hands, honey. Let's go. We, we are climbing. Let's go. Higher and higher. Everybody say. church that you're connected to but the fact that you came here tonight God's getting ready to explode the budget to whatever you all need in this next season to do whatever it is and whatever plans that you have in this next season I don't, I'm telling you because you came here tonight God is going to meet every need of the church Be, okay see because you came tonight. Now I wish I had about five to understand. You can stand in a gap for something. And God will cause a miracle not because of them, but because of you. And there's somebody here tonight that's praying for somebody in your family. I dare you to just open up your mouth right where you are. And believe God for what they need. Now, I'm going to say this. Can you do me a favor? Can you hold his hand? Just hold his hand. Grab his hand. Glory to God. Hey, ta -ta -ya. Glory. Just squeeze that hand. I don't know what this is, but there's a transferring of wealth. Lord, have mercy. There's a transferring of wealth. That's a transfer, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. I, I'm trying to lead this along. But there's a transfer of wealth. Squeeze it. Now, I don't know how y'all dance. I don't know how y'all do it. I know you're cool and not with it. But God showed me that after y'all finish praising together, God is getting ready to show you something that I have not seen. Can I say this to you? And I'll see if y'all are shouting and dance over this. If you've seen it, it's not for you. I just said something. I said, if you've seen it, it's not for you. I just want you to praise God however you praise him. Because God is not only going to bless you, but God is getting ready to bless everything connected to you. Uh oh, see, yeah, that's how you, that's how you respond, right? That's how you respond. That's how you respond. Let's go. That's how you respond. That's how you respond. Oh. Bye. 
kind of talk fast. Yes, sir. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I need y'all four to just stop praising God that you'll never want for anything in your life. That every, every, hey, every need will be met. Everything that you, hey, that's it, she, she got it. She ain't waiting. She ain't gonna wait for the rest. And God is gonna make sure that whatever the attack of the enemy that come your way, God is gonna, oh, yeah. I wish somebody would dance. I feel God in a strong way. Pastor Bennett. God said, because you've been prophesying to others. Yeah, buddy. Hallelujah. God said, because you've been prophesying to others. And you've been watching the manifestation of the prophecy for others. God said they give you a word. And I don't know if you're going to catch this or you're going to believe it. But if you give God praise off of this. You're not next. You're down. I say you're not next. Because you've been faithful. Oh. See, he'll show you how to serve your pastor and be faithful to your pastor even as a senior pastor. Greater harvest. Greater harvest. Greater harvest. Where you at? Greater harvest. I speak this word over you. This two-word prophecy over this entire house that will praise God like you that lost your mind. And the two word prophecy is dead free. Dead free. Dead free. Ha! I said dead free. I said dead free. I said, oh, pray the harvest? It's your harvest, huh? It's your harvest, huh? I wish y'all would praise him. I said get free. And what God is doing for great harvest, he's doing for every pastor. I, I, I said every pastor that's in this room. Get free. Better stop jumping like that. We'll mess around and jump out of everything the devil trying to hold you down in. Yes, sir. Let's go. I feel a thank you. Oh, you see him. 
We got the moon. It means, it means no worries for the rest of your day. It's a mountain free philosophy. It's a water free philosophy. It's a water free. Here's a problem. Here's a problem free. Philosophy. Everybody, I still believe God. Hey, 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 hey. Woman of God in the black sweater. Lift your hands right up there. Lord, have mercy. When you swung your hands, when you swung your hands, I felt the pressure coming off. I felt the pressure. I felt the weight of God or the weight of the enemy lifting and the glory of God resting on you. from your belly to holler. Holler from your belly. Holler from your belly. Holler from your belly and watch God break some stuff. I wish somebody praise God for her because she's about to get some. Oh, there go. It's coming. There go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We got the door. We got the door. We got the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We got the moon. We got the moon. We got the moon. We got the moon. Is Marciano still here? Is he still here? Let it leave. The pastor, I'll stay on the evening. Let's go. Let's go. Hands lifted. Hands lifted. Shh, shh. Hands lifted. Shh. Hands lifted. Hands lifted. Hands lifted. Come on. Hands lifted. Hands lifted. Hands lifted. Hands lifted. I'm done. I'm done. I'm 
going to leave you with this. I'm wise enough to know that when God move, and it's not my first time here, I don't have to prove anything. I'm going to, I'm going to say this. 25 people that's going to go crazy without shouting music. But the Lord told me to share this with this house. Yeah, that's it. That's how you get God's attention right there. I said to share this with this house, Pastor Manny, Elder, Pastor Thomas, the Lord shared to share this with this house. And the word that he said to share and I'll see if you'll just go crazy on your roll with no shouting music. As he had me to go to the scripture, Pastor Davenport, of the man that had been laid at or had been lame for 38 years. He had me to share with this house. And I have to share with you what he said. Jesus comes, and I gotta I, I can't go into this, so I gotta just pair, I gotta cut across the field. Jesus comes because every season or a certain season, angel will come and trouble the water. Watch this. But he could never get in the pool at the time of the miracle. So Jesus steps on the scene. You got this? And he blesses him without going in the water. The Lord said to say to this house and those that love the word of God that will go crazy without any shout music, the Lord said, watch this, he's getting ready to bless you outside of your season. I said he's about to bless you outside of your season. You won't have to wait for your turn when Jesus shows up. I'm done. Shh. Come on. I'm done. I'm done. He, oh, I heard the Lord for one of y'all that could catch this. He's breaking the rules for you. He's breaking the rules. He's breaking the rules. He's breaking the rules. You wasn't supposed to. Oh, my God. You wasn't supposed to open the business until three years, but God says by January. He's, he's blessing you. He's blessing you outside of your season. I wasn't supposed to be debt free until the next five years. But God said if you could praise him without the shout music, he can expedite your miracle and expedite your hey, he can do it wait wait we're done we're going we're going to just for six of you all that can understand this on this side of the room and I'm going to talk to you because she's dancing with no music because she understands the miracle that's already taking place in her life. She don't need no partner. She understands what God is doing. Bishop, he was supposed to wait. He was supposed to wait his turn. But when Jesus steps on the scene, he's not subject to a season. He's not subject, wait, wait, Shanelia, don't do it. He's not subject to a time. We're done, we're done. I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to say this. Shh. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Hallelujah. Hey, hot ta ta the 
The only problem I had in the text, the only problem I had, Pastor, in the text was that the pool of Bethesda was right next to the church. But I believe, watch this, if Greater Harvest was sitting on the pool, that those that was at the pool would have been blessed, would have received miracles. Because, watch this, we're done. Shh. We're done. Shh. We're done. Because if you're going to be here, you might as well be effective while you're here. I'm done. 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 Those that believe you're going to receive a miracle this week, lift your hands. Those that believe it, that miracles are coming to you this week. Very soft. Lift your hands. Those that believe in, that you're going to receive miracles this week. Lift your hands. We got the goal. Glory to God. I heard Minister Tim say, call out your address. And I called out mine. But mothers, if y'all will catch this, and I know that you all will catch it if nobody else catch this. I'm not, I'm not just, and I thank God because I did it, Minister White. I did it. I called out my address because I believe God is going to perform it. But Ari, I'm not only calling out my address. I'm calling out my last name. That everything that's attached to my family bloodline, God is about to cause miracles. And curses are falling off of my hey, off of my family. Because you cannot have my last name and not be blessed. I'm done. I'm done. And you got to be careful how you're clapping because victory comes in a clap. And I believe that when you believe, you believe that because some curses are being broken as you're clapping. And as you're believing God. For everything that's connected to you. Because I believe that you got a spirit that's not selfish. That you believe in God. For every family member. For every drug. For every lost person. For every unsaved individual. God is going to do it because of you tonight. We're done. We're done. Listen, I got to move. I have to go. I have to go. I you understand this is not for everybody. What I'm getting ready to do it's not for everybody. Bishop, not only am I believing God that he's going to perform miracles this year, but I believe as I walk into my 2023, I said as I walk into my 2023, everything I prayed about three years ago is going to come to pass. In this next year, catch this. This is not for everybody. I need you to catch it. I'm done. I'm done. Glory to God. Here's what I saw and what the Lord said to me. And this is only for 10 people. So I know it's God because there's many more than that in this room. He said, For 52 weeks, you're going to sow one dollar that every week is going to be a miracle week. Every week, 10 of you are going to sow a $52 seed. Watch this. We bless the Feltons. The Lord said, put it in the man of God's hand. Ten of you that will walk and put it in his hand and believe God. Watch this. And when I release you to stand, I want you to come as quick as you can because I won't play with this or stay here long. To even those online, I want you to come and put the $52 in his hand. Believing that every week, even for churches, even for pastors, that every week people are going to join your church. That every week your paycheck, they're going to make a mistake. Every week. 
Okay, y'all ain't catching what I'm saying. Man, watch this. By the end of the month, when they send you the mortgage payment, it's going to be less than what it was supposed to be. That your children's tuition will not be what it was supposed to be. That God will eliminate debt. 52, 52 dollars. Watch this. On the count of three, I need 10 of you. 10 of you to come quickly. Get it together. Get it together. If you come in with a cash out, any of that, I want you to just put it in his hand. All of this room. And we're going to sow it to you tonight. That's what the Lord said, do. He said, sow it to you. What, what is your cash out? Dollar sign. E2. E-T. E-T, I should have E-T. Glory to God. Dollar sign. E-T. 5141. Glory to God. I see it. Watch this. And I want to sow it at the same time that you're sowing. Watch this. On the count of three, you that are coming, come quickly. One, two, three. Now, come quick. Ten of you, quickly. 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 A $52 seat. Quickly. Quickly. Don't you miss this moment. Don't you miss this miracle. Don't you miss your season. Because God is doing it outside of season. You're coming. You're coming. Watch this. They're still coming. They're still coming. Come quickly. Come quickly. $52 seat. You're sowing to him directly. $52. Look at this. See, this is why she's blessed. This is why God keeps her. You're coming. Look at this. Look at this. 52. $52 seat. You're coming. Won't you clap your hands as they're coming? Clap your hands as they're coming. So it. 52. Look at this. They're still coming. Look at this. They're still coming. They're still coming. Hallelujah. But please don't do that, mother. You're going to start something. You're going to start. Don't, don't do that. Don't do Hey, oh my God. I love you, man. You may not remember this, but when you had your celebration years ago, I was honored to preach your celebration years ago at McKenzie Mission. And Bishop, my wife reminded me, went through the, the memories on Facebook, and this time last year, on the same date, I preached here. On the 11th. Glory to God. Listen, and I, and I can't go down. I can't. I don't play with the numbers because God said 52 and you have already given you sown into elder. He said 52, those that was going to sow that. Glory to God. Now listen, I want you to just give God praise for, for Pastor Eric Thomas and stand on your feet as he comes back to this mic. Come on, clap for the most humble man you ever meet. Come on, give God praise for him. Come on, let's celebrate. Somebody say glory to God. As he's sitting down, can we stretch our hands and ask the Lord to replenish and give him back what he has sown into us. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for the man of God. Thank you for his assignment tonight. Oh, God, that he has completed what you told him to do. And, God, for every demon and every devil that's waiting to retaliate, 
we put them under the blood of Jesus and under our feet in the name. We cover him and his family, his wife, his children, God. We thank you for his church, that they'll never, ever be lacking in his house, in his home, in his life, in the name of Jesus. Restore strength. Oh, God, the virtue that he has poured out to us tonight. We, we restore strength to his body, his mind, his heart. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Come on, if you were blessed by the man of God, amen. Let's give the Lord praise, amen. Thank God for you all being, and thank you for those of you who uh, were blessing to me, amen. I thank you again, Pastor, and then I want to thank God uh, for you just accepting this tonight and to come and to be a blessing to this church. God is good, isn't he? The Lord has blessed us, amen. Elder Felton, amen. I pray the Lord that your strength is renewed tonight by the love that was poured on you. I really do. This is what this was about tonight. It was about, and I know you love preaching, so it was just exactly what we needed tonight, Pastor Gibson. And uh, I thank God because there was somebody that knew you. Amen. It wasn't a stranger. Somebody that knows, amen, the struggles that you've gone through and the pain and all of that stuff. So I thank you. Elder Tim White, I can't say enough about you, man. Oh, my God. Elder Tim White is a blessing. Man, you are a blessing too. And, and so you all just listen out because I'm telling you now, and all pastors are here, I'm going to be coming to y'all, bugging y'all about it because it just can't be something that I do. Because this is not just a great harvest event that we're going to do. This needs to be a citywide thing because he has blessed everybody's church. You hear me? So I wanted to say it publicly tonight so you all will know that we're going to be coming. And I don't know, the great harvest is not big enough for it. And so it's got to be somewhere else. I'll tell you that now. But we're going to make it huge and we're going to be a blessing to you. You are anointed, man. God. You are anointed. Amen. Amen. Even when he do the chicken wing. I, I, you know what? <laughs> Can't nobody do it. Now, don't none of y'all try that at your program. His chicken wing is anointed. Amen. That's the only chicken wing I know because it's, he is it's authentic. But it's, it's a blessing. And amen. Elder Tim White, you're an amazing man of God. This is my friend. And I love him so much. He's genuine. And what you see is what you get. Same thing with him. Amen. What you see is what you get. Amen. This man of God checks on me. Amen. All the time. You hear me? Amen. And I thank God for him and all my sons and ministry that's here tonight. And then the man of the hour. Amen. I want you got to say something. Can we stand on our feet and greet him as he will give us remarks tonight? Come on, let's give the Lord praise for the man of God, Elder Ephraim Felton. We praise God for our wonderful night I am so excited and overwhelmed by what you all have done for me and my lovely wife it's just been a blessing tonight do you all know you all looking at a dead man that's talking to you but God kept me here I'm still here and I'm glad to be alive and well. I appreciate all you've done for me and my wife and my family on tonight. We thank you so much to Pastor Thomas and my Great Harvest family. Thank you all so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. God knows I do. And I thank you for whatever you have done for us. And may God's blessings be upon you. And I want this little old lady in the red dress to say something to y'all. Bless you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, um, Lamont, Fat. They came in. He said, thank you. Stand up. He want everybody to see y'all. Jaleel, Kendall, all of his God kids. Thank you to District Missionary and Pastor Kendrick, my mama over there, my God parents. Amen. Thank y'all so much. Come on, let's say amen. Look, I want Elder Sharice to come. Amen. Um, uh, uh, Elder Alicia, amen. She's here. She's leaving out the door. But the women's department has something to give to, amen, 
to Amen Sister Ariane Felton. They want to bless her. This is from the women's department. Amen. And Sister Amen and Elder Sharice is going to represent Amen Elder Alicia and the women. Amen. Brother. I could do something like this. So we cannot celebrate the man of God without celebrating the woman of God. Oh, you know, I've been in your seat, so I know what that's like. But when you, in your darkest hour, believe God again, trust God again, grab hold to the horns of God will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Don't allow the enemy to get in your thought process. Don't allow darkness to come into your path because the Lord is with you, and he is with you always. So I am here standing on behalf of the greatest women's ministry this south side of Chicago. I am representing our director, Elder Alicia Davis. She is recovering from surgery. Um, she needs to go home, yes. Um, so with the women that are a part of this team, Tang, Tina, Auntie Patty, where are you? We just wanted to let you know when you open this box, these things are for you to take care of the needs in your house. As you cover the man of God, these things will cover you. Amen. We love you. We have something else for you. They probably still shouting or in the hallway, but I'll meet you in the back. It's another dress. It's two weeks, we got you covered for child care. We got your hair covered again. And we got a nice chunk of change in there for you too. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord praise. That's how we do it, right, Greater Harvest? We take care of one another. I want to thank every person, those of you who are not members, but you came tonight because you love Elder Felton. We appreciate you helping us honor this great man of God. This is my brother, my friend, and I am excited about what God's going to do. Amen. Amen. And whatever you decide to do with your money, do it. Amen. It's, uh, it's yours, and there are no, there's no restrictions. It's yours. Hey, come on, let's stand. We're going to go home. Amen. Somebody say amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen. I've had a wonderful time tonight. I've had an awesome time in the Lord. The Lord has blessed us. Amen. Amen. I know it's 930. Amen. And my day wasn't too long, but it was uh, long enough. Amen. So, amen. It's 930. I don't know. Y'all pray for me. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting that Harold's demon. Amen. Y'all pray for me right now. I know. I hear something in my spirit, amen. <laughs> Pastor Kendrick, amen. Amen. I want to say to Elder Felton's sons, thank you all, man, for both of you all coming. Thank you so much. And let me again apologize. This was last minute that I decided to do it, so you all know we would have contacted you all a long time ago, but we just decided to do it about a week and a half ago. So I thank God that you all were able to be here tonight to help celebrate your dad. Come on, let's give God praise for his wonderful sons and, of course, his daughters. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise for his. These are the people that love him and that he helped nurture in his, all his God. He got like 20,000 God children. 
all over the city. And I thank God for all of them for being here tonight. But just know that we love him. And thank you all for sharing and coming, even at the last minute. Amen. You, all, you guys are great. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen, Dr. Wyatt. Hey, Dr. Wyatt. Somebody say amen for Dr. Janice Wyatt. Amen. 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 Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Unto the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. Let the saints say amen. Come on, let's say amen again. God, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Amen.